we were the first community in the valley. Yeah. The first convent, the second one, the third one, and the, C and the actual CLC. The uh, people that came the first hour, <laughs> the workers in the beginning, okay? I'm uh, Sister Jeanette Roy, a sister of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, and I'm the regional uh, superior for the sisters living in Maine or in the United States. And basically, we are all at this point in Maine. Okay? Uh, we're a small, right now, we're a small community. We're only uh, 10, uh, 9 in Maine, and um, we've expanded our ministry because right now we're working with the Hispanic community in um, Portland. The, the community came to uh, Frenchville in 1899. Uh, so we're celebrating 125 years of presence in uh, Frenchville. And it's the um, selectmen and the um, of the va of, uh, of the area that wanted to have teachers because there was no education in in the area, and so they contacted the bishop uh, to um, see if he could get a community to come and um, teach the children. So that is and the uh, bishop contacted the community, the Sisters of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, in Rimouski. And we came in, 1890, in September of 1899. We arrived here. They already had a place set up for us, the first convent. And then we, um, following that, uh, the present uh, uh, Christian Life Center was the uh, fourth convent that we had, okay? And it was built um, in, because the other one was condemned and we had to replace it. How many of you came together first? Uh, there were three. Three of, three of them. And then a fourth one came and then it increased as the years went, as the need were felt. Okay. And they were the last uh, one to teach in the school was Sister Juliette Michaud, who was a girl from Frenchville. So we are happy to uh, see the youths, how the, uh, the, uh, the house, the convent is being used, the Christian Life Center is being used uh, with the, uh, with they're continuing our mission, okay, of education, and um, we have French class going here. Oh, yeah. French! Yeah. That would, I, that's a new one. I did not yeah. realize that, and I'm happy to hear that.
Um, they also have um, um, a lot of the Bible, pastoral Bible, Bible classes, classes and a lot of the pastoral yes. um, um, education yes. is going on. We have every Wednesday Mass here. Yeah. The last sister to um, to work here, okay, was Sister Ludwina Devil, okay, and she was working in 19, until um, when the uh, house was sold, the, our convent was sold. Um, she continued to she was uh, she took an apartment in town, and she continued to work at as a receptionist. Okay, and until 19, uh, 1994. Sister Carol Jean and I uh, went, uh, went for a, a, a uh, care, uh, was in Caribou at the Christian, they had a Christian Life Center there, and they were, uh, we went for a program, and Father Paul Safanko was there, and he was kind of saying, we need something bigger, okay? And so that's where the process started. Uh, to see if the, because there was only three people living here in that big house, <laughs> okay? So the three sisters that were left in Frenchville moved to what was Mr. O'Neill's uh, Levesque, which is the house over there. They moved there and the Christian Life Center was started to be used as a, as a Christian Life Center. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're very grateful, sister. Like I said, I've been following you uh, on, uh, so I've, I've continued to see what has been going on in the center, and I'm very grateful to see it, how it's used, so.